Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Versa 4 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button for a couple of seconds. Once you see the uh, Fitbit logo on the screen, you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you may see the list of languages on the screen. And if you see it, you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And after you select the language and see this uh, on the screen, you can, or rather we need to download and install the Fitbit application on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. And once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on search, tap on search bar, type in Fitbit and tap on search. Find this application on the list, tap on it, then tap on the get button to download and install the application. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, you will see the pop-up about the Bluetooth permission, tap on the OK to confirm. And, and now we can, or rather we need to log in into a Fitbit account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on join Fitbit to make a new one. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap login, enter the email address and password. and then tap on login. After you log in, you may get a couple pop-ups about the permissions. For example, this one is for notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Okay, and once you're done with the permissions, you will see the today page of the app. Tap on the profile icon in the top left corner to open the account page. Then tap on set up a device, tap on Versa 4, Tap on Setup, scroll down, tap on I Accept. Here tap on Next and wait until the app uh, detects your watch. Once it finds your watch, you will need to enter the code from your watch to confirm. Then tap on Pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. Here you can purchase the uh, Fitbit protection plan if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on not now. You can tap on, or rather you need to tap on update now. And we need to wait until the watch is done updating. It might take a while, so uh, I also recommend to plug in the watch into a charger if your battery is low, because if the battery dies during the updating process, it might damage the watch, so. Uh, let's wait until it's done. If your watch is done updating, but the app is stuck on the installing process, you can always try to close the app, reopen it, tap on profile icon, tap on Versa 4, and then tap on update tracker, tap on I agree, next. And after a couple of seconds, it should just disappear because the update, the, the update went through, but the application was just stuck. Okay, and once you see the device page for your Versa 4 and your watch works, it means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.